This video is going to show you how to add a web link onto your course page uh, as one of the resources. Get yourself to your course page and then turn on the editing in the top right hand corner by clicking the turn editing on button. This will reveal all the edit buttons and what you're looking for is the add an activity or resource option. Remember and choose this at the point on the course page where you want that link to appear. So if we want it further down then we would choose add an activity resource further down. So let's put it in here on unit 20. Add an activity or resource. Up pops a list of possibilities. We want to scroll right down so that we're on the resources section. And right at the bottom there's an option that says URL. This means web link. We'll select that and choose add. OK. What you have to do then is give your web link a name. So I'm going to call this uh, the ELT blog website and then we have to put something in the description box. I'm just going to paste the same thing in again but you could write in a lengthier description and then you have to put the web address in this box. Okay, I know what the web address is in this case. If you don't know what it is then you would go to the website and copy the address and paste it in here and you could do that using a right click of the mouse where you'll find the paste option uh, and also the copy option initially when you go and collect the web address. Okay. Once you have the full web address in, notice I've got the entire web address including all the HTTPs at the beginning, then you can scroll down and look at the settings. The only setting you're likely to want to set is the display option and I would suggest in a pop-up window so that the new web site pops up in front of the course website and doesn't just simply replace it. Then you go all the way down to the bottom and find save and return to course. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch off the editing so that we can go down and look and see what the student sees and it was right down at the bottom there, here we are. It shows the little icon for a web link and what I typed in for the uh, the name of it, the Elk blog website, and when I click on that it should pop open in a new window, which is exactly what it's done, showing the website that I've directed them to, which is the Elk blog page. 